Hi friends, welcome to Beta Guru's video on arithmetic reasoning. And uh, today we will be seeing how to solve reasoning problems where math is involved. Okay, simple math. So if you see, it's not that difficult to solve after all. You know, ultimately, what you have to do is add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Okay, I'm making it sound simpler than it is, but uh, if you see the questions, it's not really that difficult. So let's take a look at this question that we have in front of us. It says that a few friends decided to go for a movie and planned to spend 192 rupees on popcorn. Four of them cancelled at the last minute. As a result, the friends. So now if you see on your screen, you have a question. A few friends decided to go for a movie and planned to spend 192 rupees on popcorn. Four of them cancelled at the last minute. As a result, the remaining people had to contribute rupees 8 each extra. The number of people who went for the movie was 8, 24, 34 or 18. Now in these kind of questions, of course, I can make an equation and I can solve it, but it's easier to go by options, okay, by evaluating options uh, because you can just plug in the figures and you can get your answers. So if I take option A, that means if 8 people went for the movie, so the total spend is rupees 192. If I divide this among 8 people, so the individual spend will be 192 divided by 8. This is going to give me, if I divide 192 by 8, I am going to get 24. Okay, So rupees 24 has been spent by each person and 4 people have dropped out. So that means the original number of people who went must have been 12. So let me find out the original spend. That will be 192 divided by 12 the number of people who were supposed to go for the movie. So if I divide 192 by 12, I get rupees 16. So I see that because 4 people dropped out, number of people reduced from 12 to 8, they had to spend 8 rupees each extra. Okay, so the spend went up from 16 rupees per person to 24 rupees per person. So I evaluated my first option and I got the answer. Now this will not always be the case. So uh, you should be able to evaluate all the four options quickly. For example, if I uh, evaluate option B, 24. So if 24 people go for the movie, the uh, spend of each person is going to be 192 divided by 24. Okay, this is going to give me rupees 8. Now, if I add 4 to this, if originally 28 people had intended to go for the movie, I'll have to do 192 divided by 28 okay which will not give me a round figure so anyway the difference is not going to be 8 i leave this option same thing will happen when i evaluate option c 34 people and when i evaluate option d 18 people again i will not get 8 rupees okay, so it seems lengthy but uh, we took time because i am explaining this to you so i am putting down each step okay in detail but when you are doing it in the exam you are just going to divide the total spend uh, by the people who actually went for the movie and then you will divide the total spend by the people who intended to go for the movie and you will see whether the difference is 8 rupees or not and whichever option satisfies that condition will be our answer. So in this manner we will solve questions on arithmetic reasoning and uh, I will see you in part 2 of this video with some more examples.